Claudia Cardinale. Uh, esa chica tan famosa que vino aquí hace um, un par de años, vamos que muchos ah, años. Coño, un par sí, de años. Pues, que sí. Le salió el Facebook que venía otra vez al escenario de Rey. Sí. Pues si viene, Pero pues también. Es rubia ella. Es una de las Pero no eres más guapas de las películas del oeste. What attracted you to the subject matter of your film? It was a friend of mine who decided to make a fiction film, a kind of a remake of Once Upon a Time in the West in Tabernas. And uh, I got really excited when I heard first about the place, about Tabernas in Andalusia, small city where they used to 50s to 70s. They used to make really, really almost all spaghetti westerns. And because there was this desert and, and really nice location, it looked like Arizona or something really exotic some very exotic places. So um, I, I've heard the story of this place and then I've heard that my friend is gonna try to make a kind of a funny new remake together with Claudia Cardinale. And I knew that she haven't been in this place for the last 50 years or 40 since they made uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. So I thought this is a really good subject for a documentary. I don't have seen a film in Tabernas. I've never seen a film in Tabernas. We've always 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 seen a film in Tabernas. Where a lot of spaghetti westerns made there. I mean, I always associate spaghetti westerns naturally with Italy. Yeah, that's the funny thing that many people will, um, yeah, will will make this this uh, connection with Italy, but actually it's yeah, it's Spain, <laughs> the desert and Andalusia. So, and uh, and many people, of course, will connect it with Arizona or with America or which which would have been the normal place, but. And it's funny because I grew up in uh, Bulgaria, which was like during the communist time, communism time, and there were still movies coming from this spaghetti western. And to me, they were all made, of course, in America. You know, I would never believe that it's in Spain, small village, you know, in the desert. So yeah, that was really interesting to us too. But because, of course, the whole um, Sergio Leone and all these Italian directors who who made those films. I mean, that's the reason that they are called spaghetti westerns uh, because of the Italian directors. But of course, economically, it was really, really good to do it, quite cheap. And I, I remember they said something that I remembered some numbers. They said like for five dollars or something, you could have, you know, horses and gypsies or whatever, <laughs> looking like Indians. And